back, ladies and gentlemen, to what is lagging like balls and isn't supposed to be. <laughs> wow, wow. I, I'm pretty sure you guys are all shocked. Like, what the hell? How are, you, how are you putting out a video? If I even get this video out. Um, but I have got a new recording system, and I'll, I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, this is not about the recording system, and I recorded twice already, and I couldn't stop talking about the recording system or, or software that I update, uh, downloaded. So, I'm gonna get right to it. What are we doing here? We are checking out a brand new PvP map. You guys are like, ah, oh, PvP, great. Uh, this is one that I made, okay? Uh, if you do not want to continue to watch this video, I don't blame you. But, you know, I wanted to get this out just to inform people, show them, like, what they're missing. Kinda. In a way. In sorta. Um, but this is it. I have, um, what, basically what this is, I'm gonna try to, like, explain thoroughly, uh, is a chicken just plop fiddling around in here and this is basically it okay I'm gonna explain everything we have uh, two bases that are what one second one second <laughs> what the hell two bases all right that hosts two teams green and blue I couldn't I couldn't use red and blue because I wanted to use like the uh, Huh. Like, I wanted to use... Where is it? I can find it. I can find it. I can find it. There it is, Lapis. I wanted to use, like, um, sp special blocks for the colors of teams. Uh, I'll show you a bit later. You probably saw it earlier. Like, I went through the Lapis. So I could not use redstone blocks, because pistons would be powered by redstone blocks, and they wouldn't let them retract or anything like that. So I had a bit of a problem with that. And so I'm using a green team and blue team. And I was thinking about it, uh, I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. Um, here we have the blue team and the green team. Each of them will, will be spawning inside those. Nobody will be uh, able to escape until the game has started. Um, which, you have to push that button right here. And then on the other side too, it's kind of kind of similar. In order to be able to start uh, retract those barriers and be able to start the game. And I know what you're saying, like, that's kind of gay. Why don't we just, like, start off you know and then go well because I had to make some way of uh, making the game like a, a proper start so that way it, uh, both teams are like even because it, the way that I have it set up both teams like uh, they have to push a button in order to spawn here and it basically selects uh, like a loadout for items that they want and so they have to like select their loadouts and then they'll start here it's kind of like a, a buffer before the game and then you like it spawns you somewhere else. It's kind of like that, although without spawning you anywhere else. And here are the various things that you can do on this map. One, you can find many different items all over this place, hidden. But there's yes, there's a but. No, shh, shh you're gonna love this. All right, uh, they are hidden until about three minutes into the game, I believe. I don't know. I just didn't want to like have it, you know all crazy, you know, like everybody gets OP at the beginning of the game. No, you have to wait. Okay, wait, patience, and you will all be practically even until the end, until the, like three minutes into the game. And you, they're, they're basically just pistons hide them, and I will not be showing you anywhere where any of them are, ever, <laughs> until you guys can figure it out on your own. Uh, two, you can mine uh, me minerals, m various different blocks. You have um, two furnaces in each base, which can smelt items. They they're loaded with coal and coal. One of them's loaded with 64 coal. The other one's loaded with charcoal, coal, charcoal, and it's basically the same on each team. And you get to wear nice little little hats. Yeah, let me show you. Look at how beautiful I look. And you basically will not start with a helmet. Oh. You, you will not start with a helmet in the beginning of the game because those will be your helmets. Oh, look at me bla breaking blocks already. I'm going to ruin the PvP map before it even comes out. One second. I can feel it coming back. <coughs> Jeez, and race. <coughs> okay, in all honesty, I had no idea that I was going to be recording right now, so I just picked up a Dr. Pepper from CVS, alright? The CVS pharmacy, like, across the street. Okay, I, I picked one up, and I was just like, I'm going to enjoy this. I had no idea that I was going to start recording. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. 
there are two bases. Uh, this entire map used to be enclosed off to up to right about here, and then I decided, you know, what, I need to expand it because this was small enough as is, crazy small. Like my friends and I, I tested it out, and this no, it did not work out for me at all. So I made this side too, and it's a bit smoother. And I know it seems unfair, but this guy, uh, this guy, this team has a lot more, uh, well, the same amount of advantages as that one. Um, you get the uh, waterfall, the uh, a lot more reeds to hide in, um, trees, the, the barrier right there that's a lot harder to get to than the one over there, uh, the scaffold, excuse me, uh, little ladders, <laughs> and there's a lot more mountainous areas to hide from. And here you have the uh, high ground. Uh, the lower barrier uh, scaffold that does nothing for you <laughs> besides you can hide uh, behind the fences and stuff uh, and the trees and a little less reeds and a lot less water and a lot less high ground and just more caving a lot more caving trust me and that's basically it uh, same th the items on both sides are e equal in in what would you say uh, value and it, like it's, it's randomness, they're not random. They're like all in the same area every single time. Uh, so it, you'll be able to like as soon as you play it the first time and you like find every single item, you'll be like, ah, oh, this is where they are, and then go straight to them every single time. Yeah, which is gonna suck. You know, you're gonna get over it. But I am gonna add more to this map. This will be updated frequently. I hope to get it like several out later on. Uh, there's gonna be more than just this. <sighs> This is going to be more than just this map. Why don't I just do this? It's going to be more than just one map. You all can play through them. And another thing is, is that I have not tested it out l lately, so I do not know if everybody spawns inside the temple where they're supposed to be. So that could be a big issue. I will try and get it to where everybody will just immediately be put into the temple, as you can see here. I'm not going to go to it yet. Not going to go to it. Because I know if I go to it, there's no way to get out unless I hit the button again. And I want to show everything there is to show out here and be sure that I have done so. And then go inside the temple to show you guys what it's all about and show you how to start the game. And this is basically the battlefield. And this will be where you're fighting at all times. There's, as, as far as I know, there's absolutely, okay, there's about 50% no way to get out of the map. Uh, maybe up here, but I'm pretty sure I blocked everything off. Yes, with the gigantic upside down L. And you can kill the various uh, mobs you see around here. You can choose to set it to where there will be hostile mobs or not. Uh, if there will be any more passive mobs spawning or not. If you can get the loot from mobs or not. I know I'm saying or not a lot, but you know, it's it's basically optional. Or if you can even like break blocks at all. So that's another thing. Uh, a few things you guys might be able to understand is uh, when you're playing on survival, uh, you can you can collect blocks as I've said before. You can even collect the string, maybe even make a new bow or something, maybe with the trees. Uh, so, yeah, I will plan on uh, adding a lot more to this, or I do plan. So I will like have a lot more done. Uh, maybe like add in a few new traps. I don't even have traps at all, and maybe even a few new areas, which would be really helpful and really unique to the map really updating and just keep you guys you know wondering you know so I hope you guys have enjoyed the the battlefield now let's go on to the um is there anything that I'm missing come on quick think no I do not believe so <laughs> I showed you the uh, crafting table the anvil the everything inside the base so let's move on to the temple and I did not experience as much lag as I did before wow uh, there's instructions in here on how to use the temple, and I left that completely open. <laughs> so now you kind of understand what I was talking about. You cannot use redstone like blocks on these, or else still the pistons behind them will, will just say just open, or or keep this area closed. God dang it! I need to move to this so I can just delete blocks instantly. And here they are, the options for the game. I, I'm gonna go through this because I've noticed a lot of confusion. Uh, nighttime and daytime, it's uh, um, it, everything here is optional. Uh, you can choose to like make it to where it'll transition between night and day, 
and you can also choose to set it to be permanently night or day as it says permanent time settings I'm not even sure if you can read that cheese and rice I'm gonna stop drinking Dr. Pepper for videos whoa that one came up on me I didn't even feel it I was like wait a minute wait a minute hold on BAM uh, leave up for up to transition time as it says there's the instructions or flip one of these um, only one in order to uh, make it go through night or day and then permanent time settings here are the difficulties uh, eesh, I'm sorry I've recorded this so many times and I'm like I missed something easy normal hard self-explanatory open bunks it's not as explanatory it basically just opens up these areas right here that I'll show in a minute uh, you can choose to have it okay adventure or survival no creative okay I'm sorry but no creative <laughs> toggle mob griefing up or down uh, this will like make it to where creepers I'm pretty sure that most of you know but for those of you who don't uh, okay uh, down is true up is false uh, it'll make it to where uh, creepers will basically not be able to blow up any land I don't know why I didn't hit F1 sooner game rules uh, mob drops as I said before you can choose uh, to have mobs dropping uh, items or not there I go again with the or nots and then mob spawning uh, up, or, up or down true false and uh, this will be like having it to where it's mobs will spawn or not and then in here these are the bunks they're both symmetrical everything in here is basically symmetrical except for the vines and cobwebs of course <laughs> that's, that's a bit randomized and then set your spawn here please do set your spawn here before you begin the game that I cannot stress enough so many people I've played with on this map uh, so many of them have forgot to set their spawn and they're like dude I spawned outside the map I'm like well dude did you set your spawn and they're like where was I supposed to set my spawn I was like major face palm major freaking face palm I, I, I cannot stress it enough I can I didn't do it so enthusiastically I should have been like major face palm it was one hell of a face palm loadouts uh, basically select the items that you can choose to spawn with and you will instantly be transported after you select your loadouts to your base blue base uh, for this bunk and then green base for that bunk and they both have the same loadouts basically it's all the same trust me see loadout hunter militia and they all give you the same items I'm not sure if they work the same though because I don't know I guess there's like differences between like x, x coordinates and y coordinates something like that that just change redstone around and one thing I just now noticed that's on the left and this one's on the left as well which is not supposed to be there I was supposed to put that one on the right but oh well I guess you guys will just you know enjoy the map as it is and uh, that's basically all I have to show there's nothing more to it besides setting your spawn and choosing your loadouts which I believe I might as well just show you a loadout right now choose between loader, hunter, or militia. Hunter, you say? That one's my favorite. There we go. And then we spawn... Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, I still need to change the coordinates of where you get teleported to, unfortunately. And does it say anything? Okay, yeah. So th this is basically the uh, hunter loadout. You only get leather for hunter because you're more long range and you don't need it. you need to like hustle as fast as you can just to get away and, and try to make it as realistic as possible and then you have your team caps of course I, 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 I swear if I can find the words to say I promise by the time this thing gets out uh, you will be able to you will instantly spawn in, in the proper base this used as I said before this used to be a really small map and that was green base uh, until I switched it around So I will have that changed up. <laughs> Getting all tongue tied right now. I'm like, what do I say? What do I say? I failed right in front of them. This is not good. Let's punch the pig off. And oh yeah. Oh man, I remember making this map and listening to Dennis Leary. It's the funniest thing ever. And I another thing is uh, another problem that I've been having is the spawning I'm not sure if I've already said that but like spawning uh, in the inside the temple as soon as possible and then going on with the game 
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys might spawn in some random area that I'll probably figure out sooner or later and then be able to fix that problem. And um, if you do have a problem with that, then I will show you the coordinates to where to, of where to go in a later video, maybe, maybe even now. Uh, th these are the coordinates right here, right there. Write them down, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I might even write them down on the on the uh, file. Like I said, I, I don't know if I've said this before. I, in this video at least, I've, I've recorded three other times. I'm really getting confused on what I've said and what I haven't said. But on the Minecraft forums, uh, I, I do plan on posting this on the Minecraft forums. So once that's out, I shall show you the coordinates on the Minecraft forums. I don't know how many times I'm going to say Minecraft forums before I stop saying Minecraft forums, but Minecraft forums. Uh, we'll be having the info, all the info you need, I promise. Uh, and uh, another thing is, is that I want to conclude this with a, um, a better recording device. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see this. I've been recording for 15 minutes now. I have experienced minimal lag, and I have experienced a lot less crashing. I've recorded three times now, and no crashes have, been, have occurred. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm loving this program, and I, I should be able to get back into the um, uh, misadventures with Butter Weasels mm -hmm. with me, yours truly. And so we shall hopefully have a lot more adventures together. God, I miss you guys so much. And another thing is that my friend, I, I don't know if you guys have already seen it, but I would like like you to go check out the Gaylord Plays Games Minecraft video. I'm, I'm planning on getting a lot more of those out too. <laughs> They were funny, I honestly have to say that I enjoyed doing it because my mom and my uncle were sitting on the couch, I came out and they were dying laughing at me. <laughs> Their faces were completely red, my mom could hardly breathe and I was just like, score. <laughs> it was so perfect, it was beautiful. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, I really encourage you to give me a like. And if you guys have been enjoying uh, lots of stuff that I've done before, then please subscribe. If you did not like it, please, by all means, leave a dislike. I know it's it's a bit different for me to be doing that. Like, if you have not seen any of my um, videos, uh, I honestly just I honestly just like and uh, enjoy having you guys on my adventures and like checking this out. Uh, that's all I care about. I don't care about getting likes, dislikes, haters, non-haters. Well, I do care about the non-haters, you know. But the haters, I can care less about. So, uh, if you guys did, as I said before, like, dislike comment rate subscribe and i will see you guys whenever the hell i see you guys next have a wonderful day